Hi guys, welcome to the COVID-19 quarantine bar here at uh, James and Leslie's. Uh, looking through the news, uh, just for this weekend, today is the last day of the month, uh, May starts tomorrow. Uh, looks like there's drive through COVID-19 testing in Hamilton, Bradley, and Sequatchie counties this weekend. So if you're feeling bad, you have symptoms, you want to know if you've got it, you can get... Uh, you can get the test. Looks like here in Hamilton County, it's at the emissions testing at Riverfront Parkway downtown. Bradley, it looks like it's at Cleveland Middle School. And Sequatchie County, it's the Sequatchie Schools Complex. 11 to 2, um, 9 to 12. Here in Hamilton County, it's like uh, 830 to 1230. All right. Looks like a, a pretty good thing. Uh, you know, just to kind of get the ideas out there that you can be tested and, you know, you don't have to go to a clinic or go to the hospital. It's more efficient that way, I guess. All right, today's today's drink of the day, uh, the quarantine bar drink of the day, is a handmade hurricane uh, as, you know, like you might make it in New Orleans or someplace like that. Now, this one's a little bit more complicated. Uh, you have to find the right juices and that kind of stuff. Um, you're going to have a hard time finding the mango passion fruit juice. A lot of times you have to do mango and cranberry or something like that. Uh, it's going to change the taste a bit. Uh, it's still going to be good. Uh, but passion fruit is pretty difficult to find. Uh, the best way, the easiest way to do... Um, uh, a hurricane, of course, is just to buy the mix, which is usually what I do. Uh, but I've got this set up just so you can see how it works. Now, you know, I do mine in parts. I don't do by the ounce or by, you know, whatever. Uh, I do it by part. Okay, let's start with two parts. Mango passion fruit juice. Um... It's about three quarters, about half a part of grenadine. Uh, about a half a part lime juice. Half part simple syrup. I buy my simple syrup. I don't make it. A lot of people make it themselves. I don't. Uh, there's one part orange juice. And then for your rum, you have two parts dark rum, two parts light rum. And I hope this is all going to fit because I grabbed the small shaker, not the big one. Yes, it fit. It's right there. All right. And as a garnish, you use uh, an orange slice and you wedge it and you put it into the side and a maraschino cherry. I'm not going to garnish that tonight. I left the uh, cherries in the in the refrigerator. But this is the hurricane, ice cold. Now you can also just take this and pour it directly into the blender and turn it into a frozen hurricane, which is fantastic. If you've seen the uh um we call it the New Orleans Vice, not the Miami Vice, the New Orleans Vice, where I took a frozen hurricane and a frozen hur uh, pina colada and poured those in there together into a hurricane glass. This is a similar idea. All you have to do is blend it. So pour that into your hurricane glass. Throw your straw in there. And by the way, these are paper straws. There we go. And that's a good old homemade hurricane that you didn't have to just buy off the shelf. And it is really good. It's really good. All right. Thanks, guys. Remember, stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, use your sanitizer, and we'll see you back next time.